my god. Behind the scenes. <laughs> I was so confused. You're too close, found out a little bit too much. You thought I wouldn't know. Cause we were out of touch. But you were bar hopping, you shocking. Kiss the only one I made me feel. Hi, I'm Adeshu, and here's how we made the music video for Naive. Enjoy. Like, uh, doing this music video was an interesting uh, experience for me because I never probably directed something. I feel like it was really important uh, to make that decision with people I know and I trust. We actually planned a really long time ago that we want to do projects together and she will be directing and I'm doing production. Lisa asked if we can do a project together and to me and Jacob. She had some ideas what she wanted to do. One of the things we wanted to do was actually because we bought uh, some Super 8. We were like, oh, let's do something with that. We didn't in the end. <laughs> yeah, we still need to do that. But we ended with this futuristic animation music video, which is also really cool. I feel like we had like 100 ideas and in the end it was like this one. At the beginning it wasn't that much for me because we needed to wait for what is the plan, what's the story, what do we need, so I can actually start with production. Planning the whole idea all together, we were coming to Medicious Place and we're all brainstorming, sometimes funny and extreme ideas, but I think that helped us to get each other's input and to make product which fits for everyone. Lisa and I uh, sat together and uh, made the story. And from there on, uh, I created the storyboard for the animation part, or more or less for the whole video. So the story of the music video is simple. Uh, there is the main character, which represents kind of the toxic friend that I'm referring to in Naive. And as the team called me, I was the end boss, which cuts the toxic friend out of my life. We thought getting a whole bunch of old fat TVs from the 90s is gonna be an easy job. Spent two days collecting yeah. those TVs. I did the uh, planning of collecting them. Interesting conversations on Wilhelm, definitely. <laughs> yes. For all the other music videos that I've done before, I've played most of the roles from being the actor to directing, producing and to catering, even finding the location, all of that. So working with such a huge team was really a learning experience of how to let go of all the control that I've had with the other music videos and just let people do their jobs and trust them. Who are you and what are you doing here today? I'm helping her actually and... And what are you doing? Hi, I'm doing set design. I just saw the pictures and was like, okay, should we build more like a tr throne or more like a wall? That was actually while doing it. We just tried to, to build like an aesthetic. Everything that I've done is not necessarily tasks for producer. How much I help with yeah. set design and stuff like that, that would not a producer's job. Look at this. We got roller skates. I feel like the whole process of making this music video actually took like more than six months. Uh, there's like so much planning, also with like the budget we had. The first time we were like thinking really crazy <laughs> and we're like, oh, maybe this location or that. And then we realized maybe we should just take a step down and focus keeping the budget more to like things we really need. Like we're really lucky to have worked with Dockyard. Calculating how much do we need, what do we need, which people do we need? So crew and cast, making the plan and looking for location, time scheduling, everything. I want to let the crew know when they could expect to finishing a day. On the call sheet, she even put the weather temperature, even my logo. No. And with the, the sun rising time and the... Ah, oh, that's obvious, you need to do this. Before the days of the shoot, we met up with Comfy and Lisa and went through like what was going to happen in the music video and kind of rehearsed it. Um, I think we did more of um, picking the costumes than rehearsing. But with the dance, there was a lot more rehearsing happening for me. <laughs> it goes like... Making the costumes was so fun, I recently got back into sewing. I always had these crazy ideas for the costumes and when I look up online to search for a specific thing that I'm looking for, they are either non-existent or ridiculously expensive. And for this costume, I actually used the same pattern that I used for the Devil's a Girl corset. The only difference is that that one had the huge wings and this one was just purple. 
I usually make lots of Pinterest boards for inspiration. A 90s inspired decor. The first thing I did coming home looking, okay, what does remind me from my room from the 90s or from the 80s? I was like, okay, I will take this and I will take that. And then I found like on Wilhelm the funny glitter lava lamps and game controller and also finding the right TVs. So oh, we forgot something. Yes. Oh my God, one TV. Oh, it was oh. so huge. We came there and I always looked on like the sizes online, mm. of course, but sometimes they were not specifically written how big they are. And I just be like, from the photos, you can imagine how big they are. Uh. This TV, it was so, so big. And the funny thing was, the building, first you have to take this elevator, then go th through this door and then take another elevator. And stairs and, and stay up. And we were like, we can't. We can. can. Yeah, carry it. I mean, we, we can are, carry it. We, we are strong, independent women and we can do everything we want <laughs> yes. to, but it was way too big. When we went location scouting, we saw Vienna Business University because we were searching for this futuristic style and their library has exactly that. We quickly realized it was overly ambitious, but my dad told me that at the place he works at, there is this massive basement that we can use and it was perfect. We didn't film in Vienna, so I mean, it's, it was awesome because we got a location for free. <laughs> That's perfect for low budget things. But it was outside of Vienna, so you have to plan a bit more for transportation. Thinking of who will drive with whom and getting cars and stuff like that. It was so amazing to be a part of it because, I mean, it sounds kind of, ah, oh, you know. But no, it was such amazing, you know, because I, I could do the stuff, I, you know, I, I want to do also in the future. And also, I mean, with people that I actually like. I mean... <laughs> Just get right out of you. Are we getting interviews? Yes, oh my god. I'm gonna make TikToks out of that. Y'all are gonna love it. Thank god I'm behind the scenes.